Hi there, welcome to Training Tips Inside Day and what does it mean? It's Nathaniel Lee here and I will be taking you through today's uh, short class. So Inside Day explain what is an Inside Day? First of all, you want to know how to read an Inside Day when you forecast the market, what to do with your stop loss when there is an Inside Day. And I will show you an example of it when we finish the PowerPoint. So let's get started. So what is an Inside Day? Well, Inside day basically is a bar inside the previous day, if you want to put it that way. So the low, the high is lower than previous high, and the high is lower than the previous low. So that's what makes them an inside day. So that's the explanation of it. So inside day bar, today's high is lower than the previous day, and the low is higher than the previous day. Okay. That's what it means. But what does it do and what does it mean to you? Well, what it means is indecision from the market players. So people doesn't know what's going on. They don't know whether the market is going to go higher or they're going to drop. So that's why there's an inside date. That's what it means. Very important to know this because it affects how you're going to do forecast and also how you're going to set your stop loss. Okay, so let's go to the next slide. So how do you read the inside day when there's a when you're forecasting the markets? Now there's a three questions you need to ask yourself. First question, is there a pattern forming? Is there a pattern, triangle, reversal patterns, or is any of those pattern forming? If there is, then gotta be aware of it. Okay? Very important. That's why usually there's an inside day. Is there any news not disclosed on the market yet? Now, inside day form usually when there's some news is not disclosed or not fully disclosed. So be aware of those things. The other things you gotta be aware of is uh, is this is the stocks been rising too fast or dropping too quickly? Now if there's uh, the stock dropping too quickly or rise too fast, you tend to have an inside day. So if that's happening, you will fix the way you forecast the markets. Okay. So if you have a pattern and you got an inside day, you can use the pattern analysis to do a forecast. If uh, there's news that not disclosed, you can actually set your set your orders needed to to buy more or sell more. So it depends on what hap what's happening. And if there's a if the market been dropping too quickly or rising too quickly, then you can also use the inside day to do some uh, to to need a buyback. You know, use some indicator. You know, use the RSI would be a really good one to use to see if uh, you can actually get in the market. Now. The next one we need to look at is uh, what to do with your stop loss order. Now, assume that you know what is a stop loss order, so I'm not going to go into it. But uh, when you have a stop loss, uh, when you have an inside day, what to do with it? So, first thing first, have a look at your risk management plan because everyone's plan will be different depends on what you're trading or investing in. So, have a look at the plan. Are you within the acceptable risk? Okay, whatever percentage you set, is that still acceptable? You can ask yourself that. Can you use options to help you leverage the, your risk? Okay. So if you got an inside day, you don't know where the market is going. Can you use option to do it? And what is your acceptable loss if you do take it? Okay. If you move your stop loss or doing something about with your stop loss, will you accept the risk? Very important question to ask. Because if you don't understand those things, and if you can't answer those things, we're gonna fix you. So make sure you know what it is. Inside day is simple. It's just inside day indecision. But what do you do with it is another story. So I will skip out from this and go to another slice. I'll go to um, end the show, and I will take you to a my trading view now. So I'm looking at the Standard & Poor 200 for Australia. So just showing you that this is a weekly chart. So Standard & Poor 200 Australian stocks, I mean the top 200 stocks. Looking for inside day. So can you see inside day? So there you go, there's one here. So if you are trending up, been buying it up, futures contract, you got inside day, where do you set your stop loss and so forth? So you gotta be aware of those things. Or if you saw this inside day, where can we get in? So if I scroll further, again, there's another inside day. There's another one. So inside day, tons of them here. Okay, so just gotta have a look at it. Um, what do you do with it? So if you've got indicators, use them. If you don't have indicator, well, start applying them. So 
just scrolling through as example, this is 2008. There's another inside day. What's happening? So is the trend still up, down? You know, all those questions you need to ask yourself. Uh, another inside day there. There's a big one. Then the market continue. There's a cost over. And then the market keep going up. So just let me scroll. Bring it back down a bit because oh, I have a I need to do an auto adjust. So this is where we are at the moment. Uh, this is uh, the latest data. We had an inside day here three weeks ago. Uh, this is uh, 6,750 and then 6,030. So yep, definitely inside day. The low is higher than the previous high, low, and the high is lower than the previous high. So six six seven five five. 6728 so we can see it and then the market job now there's another inside day forming this is the ordinary 200 october in australia tends to have a market job so maybe coming up and uh, if it does we can see a major market job happening based on the inside day i'm just talking right this is just a forecast i mean hey it would be good the market continue to go up we haven't really have a decent market run uh, for a while now so just let me show you what I mean since December last year we only had good eight months of run up uh, previously we have from September to three months market job the market is moving sideways since 2007 up and down hasn't really had that growth that you would expect that means the economy is not doing too well if you look at overall markets if we scroll it down to 2008 probably can get back to 2008 we just you know touching that high and since then 2008 the market dropped almost uh, 50 percent so we're back to this point again and the market is looks like for a possible job i mean october tends to do that so how big is it no one knows but if you do some forecasting, if you use a Ghana analysis or Elliott Wave, you can possibly identify those things. Um, in this video, it's not about those things, it's about inside day. So just bring in the topic. I've been doing this for a good 25 years, so you can see what's going on. And if this thing do happen, we can expect the market to do a nice drop to about 5,300, 400 points. I mean, that will be the resistance. So see how far this will go. So don't know yet still early to tell but uh, i think that's going to happen very soon and if it does we will see some major market uh, market job and will drop fast so but hey don't know why we bought into the uh, forecasting but uh, inside they do tell you something something is not right so just be careful with it that's all i'm saying keep an eye on this uh, this is uh, where are we we're on the 8th of october uh, 6 20 p.m who knows what will happen but this is likely to drop quite significantly if it does make sure you are on the right side of the market that's what i'm saying luckily my fund is on the right side so you know got to do what it, what the market tells you to do not doing opposite that's the thing remember the trend is your friend so follow the trend and i will talk to you in well next week and uh, update them with uh, the market trends and see what's happening with the Australian ordinary. Speak to you soon.